Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will see how we can get cumulative totals using interrecord functions and range functions in Click. The data which I am going to use for this application is dummy data. It's a simple two column data where we have date and sales respect to that date. We have date range started from 1st of January 2021 to 1st of July 2022. And the output which we are looking for is cumulative full total. That means total of all these sales by line and another cumulative total by year. So we will have two different totals, one for 2021 which is 3350 and one for 2022 which is 1690. So how to achieve this in click? Let's see. So I have loaded this data here and at the same time I have created three fields month, year and month year. And at the front end, I have created one simple table where month year is the dimension and sum of sales is my expression. And this table is sorted by month year ascending order. So we will start using the inter record function. When I will say above sum of sales, that means we will get sum of sales of previous row because here by default the second parameter which is offset equal to 1. But if I will use sum of sales inside above function with offset 0. So this will give you sum of sales of the current sales. Why? Because the offset is 0 and when the offset is 0 in above function that means the above function is referring to the same line. So that means we are getting same line total means same line sum of sales. Now let's see what will happen when we use the third parameter. The third parameter is count. So if I will use sum of sales with offset 0 and 3 as the count with above function, you will not find the difference here until and unless you will use the range function here. So what exactly this one is doing? If I will add range sum function here, then we will see the output. So the output is something like this. Let me move this one at first. So the output will be something like this. For the first line, it will be 310. For the second line, it will be 310 plus 210. For the third line, it will be 370 plus 210 plus 310. That means 890. For the fourth line, it will be the total of 190 plus 370 plus 210 and so on. So what exactly this function is doing? So first of all, we will break this function in two parts. So the first part is range sum above sum of sales 0 and 3. Okay, so the first part is above sum of sales 0 and 3. So I can write something here above sum of sales 0 and 3. So what this function is doing? So above function we know that it will refer to the line based on the offset. So here offset is 0 that means it will refer to the same line. So the same line is 310. Now the second parameter is 3. So the 3 means we need to get 3 records starting from the offset 0 means the same line. So here we cannot go up because this is the first line. So we will get only one record but in this case we will get 210 and 310 because we have 210 as the first record with offset 0 
and we have to go total three records. So we don't have three records, so we will get 210, 310 and the third record will be null. What about this line? This line we will get 370 as offset 0, 210 which is the second line from that offset and 310 at the third line. So for the fourth line we will get 190, 370 and 210 and so on. And now when we will use a range sum function it will do the total of everything. So when we do a range sum of this it will do total of this. Here it will do total of 210 plus 310. Here it will do total of 370 plus 210 plus 310. So this is how it is working. So let's see at the front end. So this is how the total is working. But we don't want total of 3 months. We want total of all months. Then we can do one trick here. Let's add here row number. So when we add row number here, we will get 1, 2, 3, 4, something like that. So instead of 3, if I will use 1 here, range sum above sum of sales 0 and 3 instead of 3 I will use if I will use 1 here then I will get 310 means the same row. For here if I will use range sum above sum of sales 0 2 means let's see how we are going to use this one in excel. So when we use row number we are getting 1 to 19 number of lines. So now this row number we have to use somehow so that we will get cumulative total here. How? Let me explain you this by excel file. So now in this excel file I will remove this one and now in excel file when I will say when I will say here rent sum above sum of sales 0 and my first line then it will do sum of sales of the same line 310 and it has to go only one step so here the only step is the same line because the offset is 0 now if I will use here 2 then it has to go 210 as the same line and it has to go for another record because we need two records here. The count is two. So we will get this two. If we use the third line here, then it will give you 370, 210 and 310. So for this line, if we mention four here, then we will get 190 and 370. 210 and 310 and when you use a range sum function here it will do the total of everything so that's how you will get the cumulative total so this 1 2 3 4 means we can use this row number instead of this 3 so instead of 3 I will use row number here and now you can see we are getting the cumulative total same as mentioned in the excel file. Now to get the cumulative total by year what we have to do here is simply copy this expression and agar this expression by year and month. So once you Agar this expression by year and month, you will get two different totals, cumulative totals, because we have two years. So it will restart again when the year change. So for the year 2021, it will be 3350 and then it will restart again from 2022 and it will give you 1690. So 3350 
and 1690 this is the total we are getting so let's recap what exactly this rent sum above sum of sales 03 is doing the above function will try to find out sum of sales from the same line because offset is 0 so it will try to find out sum of sales of the same line and then it will totally give you three records so one record is for the offset 0 then it will go two more lines up and then it will give you three different sum of sales for the first line it will give you one sum of sales and then it will give you two times null for the second line it will give you 210 310 and then the third one is zero but say for august 2021 if the offset is zero then the for the first line it will be 280 and for the two another line it will be 360 and 220 and then rent sum will do the total of these three so in short above function finds the result of the sum of sales on the three rows immediately based on the offset if offset is zero then immediately from the current row but if offset is one then it will be one row up and then two more rows and then this values used as input to the range sum function if instead of this range sum if i will use something like this so if instead of range sum if i will use range average then we will get average of cumulative 3 months so it's a average of running 3 months so 310 it's only one month but for the second month it will be total it will be average of 210 and 310 for the third one it will be total of 370 210 and 310 so this is how running cumulative total is working hope this is clear thanks and have a great day